Hey, hi, Appy Dog Farm Al here, neighbor Al. Um, some of you know that I have data loggers for temperature in my orchard, mostly to kind of keep track of what happened. They're kind of a post-mortem thing. The reason they're post-mortem is because I have to take them back in the house, plug them into a computer to read the data in them. And once you've read the data, the data is offloaded and you're starting over again. It's really a nuisance. Um, I've had them for over three years now. They were great. They were the state of the art at the time, affordable. They were still close to $100 a piece, and that was sort of annoying. I, I needed better. And as some of you know, I've started grad school, and data collection is going to be very critical to what I'm doing. I said, okay, I can do better than this. Some of the solutions have it that they're wireless and you walk around with a little data collection unit. Now, the sensors are a little bit cheaper. They're only like $80. But then you have to pay for this data collection tool to take it back to your computer. <clears throat> um, no cost savings. Actually, it just ends up costing me more. Didn't like that. And then I stumbled on the Kestrel Drop D3. That's this product here. This product uses a, a low-power version of Bluetooth. So I can use an Android or an iPhone with an app, go up to the unit, <clears throat> download the data. The data stays inside the unit. I'm mirroring the data. I can view the data on my phone, or I can use the phone's upload capability to push the data into a computer, into my home network, which I'm a geek. I can do that. And I can use that for further analysis. So this is obviously time and date. It is temperature, relative humidity, and dew point, and barometric pressure. Now, those of you in the know know that deltas and barometric pressure over time is an indication of potential wind speed. So that's handy, too. The dew point gives me an idea of wetting periods due to dew. Um, much nicer units... This was $120. Now, the thing I like about it, and, you know, I'm not terribly nationalistic, but I'm practical. A, it, it runs on both um, the Google Android or a um, iOS 8 or above, and it's made, designed, and built in America, which is it's kind of nice to go for the hometown team when the hometown team is doing something better. And they're definitely doing something better. Now, to give you an idea how big this is, hey, this is one-handed video here. It's not very big compared to my hand. I am going to be building a weather protection enclosure for this. I forgot there's a fancy name for it. But I'm going to be doing it on the cheap, so I'll document that for you so you're not buying one. It will see everything it needs to see, but it won't get beat up by the weather. And most importantly, it will never take direct sunlight. So the temperature readings will be true. Um, that little white doer you see on the top, I'm trying to focus, I can't. Anyway, that's the temperature sender. And you can see it's, it's really out there. It's not in physical contact with the case. That's super important. So, and there's a sample of what the display looks like in terms of current data. You can just go up to it and ask it. What I want to be able to do with this is go down there daily when I'm checking my trees, grab the data, and get degree days for the day before, you know, so I can do my little IPM thing, grab my degree days, and the D3 will let me do it. The next version up is the fire version, and it does wet bulb measurements, which is, um, I guess, a relationship of dryness and fire potential. So as I open this up, look. Real paper instructions. You know, when's the last time you got that? Come on. They always give you a little disc or tell you to go on the web. I like that. It's traceable. I like that. Barometric pressure is in Pascal's. Doesn't matter. I'm going to be doing them in um, bar. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I get a sticker. Anyway, I wanted to let all of you know that this product was out there. Oh, another thing that's really nice is it uses a common 2032 or 2023 uh, coin battery that you can go into Wally World and buy two packs of. Super easy. The other ones use these really um, 
three volt lithium half double A batteries that I had to mail order. Um, and that was sort of a nuisance. I, it was These are cheaper and they're easier. They're lithium. They don't claim to last a year. They certainly claim to last a season. Oh, that's honest. So I have a use for those other data loggers. Don't get me wrong. Put them in the shop, put them in my wife's studio, put them in the barn, monitor other temperature critical spaces, but someplace I don't mind bringing my laptop to. Anyway, there you have it. It's the Kestrel D3. Come on, focus. There it is. The Kestrel D3 data logger providing temperature, humidity, dew point, and barometric pressure all in one little doer that I will hang up inside of a little enclosure where it will see everything it needs to see, but it won't get direct sunlight. This is my new and improved. One thing that's cool, I can buy a used but good cheap Android phone, not activate it, and use it simply as the data collection tool to collect the data and push it back to my central storage on the Wi-Fi network. And that phone will cost less than the fancy pants data collection unit for that other system. Plus, it takes pictures. So, I mean, there is a lot you can get out of an old phone. Here, here. Okay. So that's it. The Kestrel D3. Pretty box. Came in the mail today. I'm excited. I'll let you know more as I know more. Take care. Bye-bye.